everybody, my name is Luke Falk. I'm here with my dad, Jeff Falk, and uh, Dan Reed. This is the first edition of Shovel Now's Questions, No Answers. Uh, our show is going to be a very serious take on the problems that are currently facing our town. No shenanigans. Uh, the first question, if you, if you don't uh, follow Shovel Now on Facebook, uh, it's posted there, was uh, Madison Street. Will it ever be revitalized? Jeff, what are your thoughts? Well, I, I don't think that uh, it will ever be back to what it was when Walmart was an anchor there. And it seems to me like uh, since Walmart moved to North Main uh, that most of the businesses followed them out there. I saw on the, where people were commenting on this question on Facebook that we had too many check cashing places and uh, Mexican restaurants and things like that and my question is would those places be in business still if they weren't making money and right. uh, so I, you know I, I think some things like I see activity at the old high school I think that building you know is going to be a lot better uh, Sean Roberts is moving his business to the old uh, John Deere place and I think that building is going to be much improved so it's not like it's a it's a total uh, loss, but we have the uh, economic statistics here from Shelbyville. Income per capita for the city of Shelbyville fifteen thousand four hundred forty six dollars. Household income twenty seven thousand seven hundred forty three dollars. Unemployment rate five point six percent. Recent job growth point two eight percent. So it seems to me that uh, when we're talking about no growth in Shelbyville, uh, I think the obvious answer would be we have to increase revenue. We, and the only way I know without raising taxes is to bring in more industry of some kind. What do you think? Well, absolutely. And I think the one thing Madison Street's got going for is high school's on that end. Yeah, right. So Friday night's going to be good. Boy, if the Eagleettes could ever get to that, that where they were, they were, you know, and they won a couple of district titles. But when Rick was there, and it was a machine, and, and football, and football's really good, and they're uh, they sling it all over the place. So you got you got that down there. But I I agree. Somewhere around where Stanley Eaton was, we got to have an industry. We got to have places for people to work. And uh, other than that, you know, when I was a kid, you went down Madison to get to Tullahoma to go to the movies. Well, it's a whole lot easier to go two thirty one. Uh, to go to the movies at, in Murfreesboro. It, Tullahoma's not the draw that it used to be uh, when I was a teenager. Murfreesboro's become bigger and bigger and bigger, so everything's just 231. And Madison's a man, there's, you would think, a lot of potential and a ton of traffic. Uh, but I'm like you, gotta have places to work. Somebody's gotta, you know, those two, three, four big buildings sitting down there, Stanley and Eaton and those places, uh, gotta bring some jobs in here somehow. And I think we'll get to that when we talk about the election here in a little bit. But let me ask you this. Do you think that the bypass at all hurts Madison Street cutting some traffic off whatsoever? My personal opinion, no. Because I saw that. That was brought up right. to too. I don't. My opinion. If you're going from 231 to Tullahoma or, or the end of Madison, you would use it. Now, I could be totally wrong because I'm from Union. And uh, so we don't, you know, we have no reason to to bypass much. Uh, Unless, like I'm saying, we're going from Union to Tullahoma, uh, I I don't think so. Because every time I'm on Madison, there's plenty of there's plenty of traffic, there's plenty of people. Uh, just uh, if you ain't going to Wendy's or McDonald's or Sonic, though, where are you going? Uh, that's 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 it. I think more jobs, more stuff. Somebody said golf cart, but, but <laughs> golf. I don't know what the answer is, but something to attract down there. Well, I, several people commented about wanting a, a grocery store on Madison Street, but obviously that's not a an issue for the public. I mean, that's a that's a private right. uh, a private business that would have to be you know somebody that went there, and and I would think our numbers probably don't justify them coming here. Right. Uh, right. You know, and, and then they they talk about fast food. Well, if you put a nice restaurant somewhere in Bedford County, are the people going to be willing to pay the price? 
with the incomes that we just talked about. Right. And, and I think that's a problem. Um, well, as you fix it, you put a Chick-fil-A on Madison Street. Chick-fil-A. That's it. There's your answer. Well, that's, and that would be. That was commented on. And we did try, you know, we did try it years ago with the little drive through oh, thing. Yeah. I, never, I never stopped there because it was a little trailer with cash you know, only. Like, yeah, cash only. Little right. Plus, that was probably, what, 12, 15 years ago? 10 years ago? I don't know. Well, uh, I, I can tell you this. With, with four, soon to be four chicken <laughs> restaurants <laughs> within two miles of each other, I don't know if I'm bringing a chicken place to Shelbyville. I right. Another one. Of course, Chick-fil-A obviously is a great franchise, but uh, it still goes back to you, you're going to have to do something to increase uh, money in these people's pockets. Uh, I, we got these stats off of uh, off the website, and here's an interesting... It's about half of the national average, yeah. both right. household and per capita is almost half. Well, here's a, another interesting stat for you. Of the people who graduate high school in Bedford County, 15% go on to get a four-year degree. Uh, so, so are we producing a workforce that is going to make somebody that's going to be attractive to an industry coming here? Right. Uh, you know, I've, I've spent several years in industrial sales, and, and factories that you would go to here in town struggled to get employees, uh, you know, to come to work and, and to stay for any length of time. Right. So, uh, I mean, you know, that's, that's a, a problem. Paper, Cal Sonic might have been moving mm. some of their headquarters somewhere else. That'd be a disaster for us. Right. Okay, so talking about the, the workforce and not having enough workers and not having enough, um, you know, college graduates from this area, and of that 15%, that's not even counting the ones that leave here. Is that something that the schools can do different? Is that something that is just uh, a cultural thing? Is that something, I mean, what, what's, the, what's the answer there? How, how do we develop a better workforce to I stay it, here? I think it goes to this stat uh, we were just talking about. The county, uh, You've got the county I numbers. might have a number. County income, where am I at? The per capita is 19.8, right? right? Versus 15,000 on the city. And then it's 49 versus 27. So there's more, seems to be more money in the county surrounding areas than ship. Well, what's happening, and it, I don't think it's a school system thing, I think it's uh, our college graduates. I just think. We're working in different towns. Uh, I mean, my house is guilty of that. I work here, but my wife works in Brentwood. We live in, out in the county, and uh, man, I know a ton of folks. They're going to go, but to my defense and my wife's and all the other, there's a lot more places to work in Brentwood and Franklin than there is Shelbyville. My wife would love to work in Shelbyville, but uh, you can't compete uh, with with the salary and uh, benefits and those type of things. So again, I think everything we've talked about comes back to we got to get an industry here uh, to support uh, Madison Street and support Chevron. These incomes, it, it, that doesn't look good. But do you do you buy into the fact that this whole thing is like the perfect storm? We, we sat here for years and we had the money that was generated from the celebration. The walking horse industry generated a ton of money for our town, for our county. That has gone away. Right. We had pencil mm -hmm. mills, which technology has taken a lot of those jobs away. Right. Uh, Tyson, uh, you know, a lot of those jobs have gone to uh, people other than Bedford County right, residents, right. let's say it that Smaller way. Farmers so, so it's like a uh, it's like a perfect storm in, in, in several different things that is, that I, I believe that it, that's lending to a lot of that right. as far as what your your income is. I, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a school problem. Right. Uh, no, no, I just meant is, is there, and I'm not, and I don't know how much that is the local school board versus higher up as far as taking away a lot of the technical past stuff. I think part of that kind of their hand was forced. But as far as workers, not necessarily the college degree part, but the workforce, right. uh, skilled workers. Like I, um, Art McCamey was talking the other day about they had a house, like they learned how to build houses in yeah. shop class, you know, and things like that. 
And I don't know how well, much of that they're able. I went to community and they would get on the bus, mm -hmm. go to the boat tech school, come back every day. And it was really good for those. And, and one of my best friends in school is, is so busy right now framing houses. That's where he learned to do that. And uh, I like it. I, I do think we need that kind of stuff back. Person. Well, and I don't, but that's not, I don't think yeah, that that's came a, from a local level. Yeah, I don't right. think. I don't but really I think. think but I think you'll see uh, as the economy is is growing back toward different kind of jobs where, where labor is involved. I think you're going to see more of the vocational classes coming back. Right. You know, I, I'm here's the way I feel about the school. When I was in school in the '80s. I got out of school what I put into it. That's right. When my children were in school in Bedford County Schools, they absolutely, all three of them, got out what they put in. Right. Now that was different things for different ones, uh -huh. uh, and it didn't always make me happy, but that's what they got. Right. And I, I just, I don't buy into the fact that uh, we ought to send our kids to school to, to learn discipline and morals right. and all. I, I think I, agree. I think we're putting so much on teachers that it, that, that doesn't belong there is right. what I believe. So. Need industry on Madison Street. There's the first answer. Industry. Yep. Bring industry in. Uh, some of that uh, I think uh, is going to at least lays, uh, lays in the hands of those that are about to get elected. All right. So we're going to kind of transition into the election. All right. Uh, I'm going to read the poll numbers real quick. We only have three of the races up on the Shovel Now site, but uh, the county register of deeds race uh, on Shovel Now has uh, Miss Embry at 37 percent, uh, Johnny Reed at 63 uh, percent. The sheriff race has Rick Gann at 23 percent and Austin Swing at 77 percent. Then the mayor race has uh, Eugene Ray at 31%, uh, Chad Graham at 35%, Rusty Reed at 20%, and uh, Mr. Carroll there at 14%. Which office or offices do you think, uh, not for the candidates in particular, but the office, uh, kind of has the most to do with uh, selling our town, getting industry here, working towards that? Uh, what can they do? Out of those three? Uh, yeah, well, out of all the, all the races, those are just the poll right. numbers that we have, but out of, out of all the, the elections that are, or, or the seats that are up in the election. Well, I, I think you're, uh, I think the county mayor has to be a, almost a salesman mm -hmm. for the county in, in, in what he can do in that. Uh, of course, your commissioners are going to set where your money goes and, and things like that. And, and let me say this, I, I think we've made a great stride in getting an industrial park up and running. Right. Uh, we may be a few years behind, but at least we're making progress toward that. Uh, you know, you don't want to come across as this is a terrible place to live. I love living right. here. I, right. I mean, I live in the city and I, I love living here. Uh, I, w I would like to see it, I would like to see it grow so our young people would feel like they had the opportunity to stay here. That, you know, that's, I, agree. I mean, I'm an old man. Right. Uh, I mean, seriously, I'm not. I'm not going anywhere. But I'd sure like to see my my children and my grandchildren think the same of Shelbyville as I do. Right. Well, I'm the same way. This is this is uh, county seat. And I'm from Unionville, and uh, man, I don't live anywhere else. I tried. Yeah. I went to seminary in Memphis, and uh, uh, well, I couldn't wait to get back towards here. And I don't want to come across either. As I think. Uh, that it's done, it's over. Yeah. Man, I love it. I love everything about the horse show. I love everything about the town. Man, the history of the sports here. Uh, I, I, I'm all for ship. I'd love to see, uh, besides that, I'd love to see that horse show get to what it used to be, that celebration, what it, what it, and its heyday when I was a kid, uh, what it was. Back to your question, commissioners. Commissioners have a big, uh, huge burden on them. I think we got some good commissioners. Uh, County Mayor, you think about those guys, how they love Shovel, those candidates. Man, nobody loves Shovel more than Rusty Reed. Uh, Mr. Ray, you got Chad Graham, who's absolutely working. And Mr. Carroll, there's a sign everywhere. These guys are working. And, uh, man, I, I'm telling you, I don't know what's wrong with me. I love local elections. They're my favorite. I, I can, <laughs> since I was a kid, I've always kept up with. And uh, that County Mayor race is, is going to be, it's a good one. And i tell you what, got some good candidates. And... Um, but this commission's got a lot on them at this point because school board, 
with, with all the schools, they need money. Cascades getting a new school. I hear East Side that they need a new school. So commission's got South Side has South Side's portables I to, everywhere. I went to South Side. And it's the same size it was when I went. Right. When Ralph McBride was the principal, he used to wear me out about three days a week. <laughs> it's the same size. So, uh, uh, man, the commission, that county mayor, and then the school board. You know, school board. But you're going to be on. You're on my, the If my wife votes for me, I got a shot at <laughs> but, uh, I, heard, yeah. I heard you had three votes. Right now. Right now. Lacey hadn't voted yet. But early now. voting is. <laughs> <laughs> hey, and notice I saw in the paper today, early voting was looking good. 2,000, I think, had already right. been up there to vote. Uh, and we didn't mention this sheriff's race. I'm going to tell you what, these guys are doing some campaigning. Yes, I'm sir. telling you, I'm from Unionville, and uh, Rick Gann has wallpapered Unionville, <laughs> and uh, Austin, and he, he's done work here in Shovel, and uh, man, uh, they said that uh, early voting summer had said it's really looking good compared to that. Uh, last election back in what May, I think it was. Why am I yeah. wrong? Yes, yeah, it was a one page. Yeah. 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 It, was, it wasn't page. very good on yeah. the numbers. Hey. So I think the people are coming out, and uh, we're not going to predict winners here. We uh, no, we're not. We're not, not gonna... predicting winners, but uh, I'm looking forward to it, man. And maybe some of these signs will get picked up, including, <laughs> including mine. You well, know? I, do we have a list where you put yours? Yes. <laughs> yeah, he's very organized. Because yeah. most, well, most people organized. didn't know you were putting them there. And I, that's why I was. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Earl Carlton. Somebody needs to keep up with there's, there's only, I'm District 3. It's not a big one. Hey, and I forgot. We're getting a new convenience store on Madison Street. Yeah. Uh, Speed uh, problem well, solved. Very, <laughs> la very large. I, I don't know what that's going to do for traffic right there on that intersection, but I, I'm going to say it's going to be pretty tight. Probably run right smooth. There. It'll probably go real smooth. Not well. Problem. I, maybe they're going to bring the gas in on something smaller than a tanker. I don't know. I, but <laughs> Underground. I, don't I know. Run a hey, pipeline to the speedway. We, yeah. we missed out on Walmart Market, which might be a good thing because all the ones I know closed up. But, yeah, right. Yeah, it was, Chapel Hill Corners will yeah. that was, closed. So. And that's 50 yards from where this new speedway is. I, I mean, I don't know I don't what know. that means. but. Uh, so Dan, let me ask you this. You're going to be on the school board. Yes, sir. What is one... Uh, important issue um, that you would like to see brought up or discussed, you know, or, or solved? I went to my first meeting uh, as a guest. I went in as a public meeting. I wanted to, and just hearing those uh, those guys and, and, and Mr. Embry talk, and I didn't realize. I, I know we had 8,000 something students here, uh, but what I didn't realize was Cascade needed the school, they got it, Community's got a new high school, but when they built it, they only built it for 500. We're already over that. Uh, but they said Eastside's got to have a school of me as soon as this one. And, and you just sit and think about where, where's the money coming from? We're not, we don't have any, we don't have any ball fields at, at Cascade. We don't have them at Community. We need another elementary school. And uh, we've just got to figure out uh, how to get some some revenue. By the way, let me just point this out. I don't want everybody. This county pays less for pupil than any of the surrounding counties, and uh, we need to we need to get more folks stoned. Man, we got eight thousand kids going to school here, so uh, it's something I want to. That that's certainly something we got to figure out how to how to to improve on. Which all comes back to getting industry in. Well, I mean, yeah. more if people spend Bear spend their money in Bedford County. Yeah. Uh, which is, we're all guilty issue. of not doing it. We, we, everybody is. Right. And, man, think about the small businesses we do have here that we absolutely need to be supporting. That's right. Uh, absolutely. Right. I, I mean, I agree. No doubt about that. And a uh, closing out question because we've got one minute. Yeah. Uh, All-Star Church League softball game, if you suit it up today. Uh, today. Give me your top three. The game or players? Game. We we got you build your team out of out of all past players per church. Oh, then I want uh, I want I'm gonna go late eighties. Krause Chapel <laughs> Lutheran uh, is my my team. I'm going with. I'm going with them. Cavalry. Good night. Uh, uh, here's the on show. Well, here's, the, <laughs> here's the difference in the two. Right. Uh, late seventies. To two thousands, count. <laughs> so I don't have to pinpoint the years. I mean, I'll just take like a couple now, of decades. Let's hey. go. Hey, we just brought up quickly. What about if we got 
the old softball back when it was Johnson's versus Duck River. How much industry that brought down hey. here? I mean, the newspaper was down there. Hey, that's Harlan Philpot. Hey, hey. At the old Evans Street at Swimming Pool Park. Why not? Swimming Pool never is. Here we go. Yeah, we, how Let's many go. problems have we solved already? I, I don't know that we answered anything, but it's questions, no answer. That's that's us. questions, no answer. That's us. Uh, we'll be back uh, shortly. I believe we're going to have a special election only episode Ooh. post election. All right. Uh, so we'll see you back then. Uh, send any questions uh, that you might have you want us to answer. Uh, we'll do our best. Or Thank talk you. about. I'll talk. <laughs> there you go.